This patient had a traumatic cataract removed approximately 25 years prior and did well for a considerable period of time. And then over the past several years, his vision declined and he presented with a mobile lens which appeared to be in the sulcus and no vitreous in the anterior chamber. Uh, Viscoelastic is used to stabilize the anterior segments and a Sinsky hook is, elevates a haptic to the plane of the iris where micrograspers then stabilize the lens allowing elevation of the optic through the pupil and uh, stabilization of the lens for suture fixation. Um, because the entire lens is not visualized by elevating the uh, lens against the iris, uh, it is apparent the lens is indeed intact with no obvious defect. Tenoproline sutures are then passed uh, under each haptic and through the iris using paracentesis and capturing the needle in a 27 gauge cannula. I find this is less traumatic to the tissue and less tension and pressure is needed for passage of the sutures in this regard. A sliding knot is then fashioned by retrieval of a loop and three throws are placed and then the knot loop is brought into the anterior chamber by pulling on both sides of the suture without tensioning the suture into the uh, to the iris and haptic at this time the optic is then prolapsed posterior to the plane of the iris and this allows the iris and suture complex to slide along the haptic and thus round out the pupil. The sutures are then tensioned and locked and additional throws, usually of a single uh, knot variety, are added for security. Micro scissors are very useful for trimming at the knot inside the anterior chamber and by manual IA is used to evacuate viscoelastic and this lucky patient ended up 2015 uncorrected.